Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on example problem on how to convert the given boolean expression into a product of match terms. Okay, in the previous video we are already discussed about how to convert the given boolean expression into a sum of products form with the two example problems. Okay, now in this video how we are converting this given boolean expression into a product of match terms. So, the above boolean expression contains three variables that are x, y and z. The above boolean expression contains two product terms. x, y is the first product term. x bar z is the second product term. Okay, sum of product terms. Okay, that is given. Okay, so now this can be written as x, y plus x bar z can be written as. So, x, y plus x bar, we are getting one sum term. Next one, x, y plus z, we are getting another sum term. Okay, so product of sums can be written as product of sum terms. Okay, x, y plus x bar, x, y plus z. Okay, again, this sum term can be rewritten as x plus x bar. Next, x bar plus y. Okay, next, this sum term can be written as x plus z and y plus z. Okay, next one. We are already know that x plus x bar is equal to 1. Okay. So, 1 into, so x bar plus y, x plus z, y plus z. 1 into something is nothing but something. x bar plus y, x plus z. Next, y plus z. Okay. Now, this is one sum term, this is one sum term, this is one sum term. Product of sum terms. But each and every sum term does not contain three variables of the given function. Here variable z is missing, here variable y is missing, here variable x is missing. Okay. So now the above sum term x bar plus y plus 0. I have to write this one. x bar plus y plus 0 is nothing but x bar plus y. In the same way, x plus 0 plus z. x plus 0 plus z is nothing but x plus z. Next, 0 plus y plus z. 0 plus y plus z is nothing but y plus z. Okay. So, here I have write so, x plus 0 is nothing but x. For the variable x, we have to add 0. There is no change. Okay. Now, x bar plus y. Here, the 0 can be rewritten as the product of the missing variable and its complement. Here, what is the variable is missing? Z. So, product of missing variable and its complement. Here, x plus, what is the variable that is missing? y. y into y bar plus z. Next, here what is the variable is missing? x. Product of variable x and its complement. y plus z. Okay. Here we are already know that x into x bar is equal to 0. y into y bar is equal to 0. z into z bar is equal to 0. Okay, next one. So, this can be written as we are already know that. So, x bar plus y plus z. Next, x bar plus y plus z bar. x bar plus y plus z bar. Here, x plus y plus z. x plus y plus z. Second term, x plus y bar plus z. Next one here x plus y plus z here x bar plus y plus z 
ओके एनी टर्म इज रेडेंडेंट द टर्म कैन बी एलिमिनेटेड हियर एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस जेड हियर एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस जेड हियर एक्स बार प्लस वाई प्लस जेड हियर एक्स बार प्लस वाई प्लस जेड द रेडेंडेंट टर्म कैन बी एलिमिनेटेड ओके सो एक्स बार प्लस वाई प्लस जेड ओके आई एम राइटिंग दिस टर्म दिस टर्म कैन बी एलिमिनेटेड ओके नेक्स्ट वन एक्स बार प्लस y plus z bar next x plus y plus z this term i am writing this term can be eliminated next one x plus y bar plus z okay now we have to write this sum term in zeros and ones in the case of max term in the case of max term okay so variable x is nothing but zero variable x value is nothing but zero and x bar is equal to 1 y value is equal to zero y bar is equal to 1 z is equal to zero z bar is equal to 1 in the case of max terms only okay so now x bar is nothing but 1 so 1 plus 0 plus 0 here Uh, one plus zero plus one here. Zero plus zero plus zero here. Zero plus uh, one plus zero. Okay. So the equivalent max term is m four into the equivalent max term is m five. The equivalent max term is m zero. The equivalent max term is m two. Okay. Zero one zero. The equivalent decimal value is two. Zero zero zero. The equivalent decimal value is zero. One zero one. The equivalent decimal value is five. One zero zero. The equivalent decimal value is four. So M four. Each and every one is a max term because it contains all the three variables of the given function either in complemented form or in uncomplemented form. So that This is one max term. 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 Each and every max term can be denoted by capital M. In the suffix, the equivalent decimal value we have to write. So, the product of max terms, the product can be written as pi, pi of so that is four comma five comma zero comma two. Here I am writing M. Okay. So that is equivalent to pi m zero comma two comma four comma five. Okay, this for this given Boolean expression, the equivalent product of max terms is zero, two, four, and five. Okay, pi is nothing but product. M is nothing but max terms. Product of max terms that is zero max term. Two max term, four max term, fifth max term. Okay, pi m zero comma two comma four comma five. In this way, we have to solve the given problem. So thank you, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel name Divela Srinivas Rao. Please share this video to your friends and classmates. Thank you.